Hey guys, so a lot has changed since the initial release of this plugin and I thought I'm going to create a new tutorial because you actually not, right now you don't have to activate any plugins anymore, everything is in there and I'm just going to show you quick examples of the context menu, how you can access all of these features here. So in this case this is just the renaming function. You can right click on an asset, define a search pattern and a replace pattern and you can also replace with nothing. In this case you can just get rid of the search pattern. So this is a nice way to remove the prefixes because I wanted to show you how you can automatically add them. If you select something and run the script uh, it will automatically create the right prefixes. And if you run the script again, it will see that there are already the right prefixes so nothing will happen. I also added the option to instantly delete things or create a new trash folder for unused assets. In this case it didn't find any because they were all referenced in the example map so just make sure to get rid of it. Next thing is our widget. So I created this in 4.23 upwards. And you just have to right click and run editor widget to get all this widget utilities here. And it basically works the same. I have some more functionality in there as in the context menu. So the source directory is the one I want to search in. I can include all my subfolders. And now you can see if, for example, I'm doing the same rename function with the word dumbbell and replace it with something like pentagon. And now if I run it, it will look in all the folders. So not only the ones currently selected, so in all of them. And you can see every single texture has automatically be renamed. So this is really nice if you run this on large projects. You can also lock specific folders. This is very handy if you're working with the content folder itself and want to make sure some of them are locked. So let's try it out. I locked the folder barbells. So nothing should happen here. If I run the script again, you can see a warning is popping up that the file is in a locked folder. So the add prefixes works the same, but it goes through all your folders in the source directory. For the linear color setting, you can define different naming conventions and with one click the found textures will be set to sRGB. The same goes for power of two validator. There you can just find textures that aren't a power of two. This is very nice for mobile development, especially if you're working like for the Oculus Quest. A texture that is not a power of two is not good at all for mobile development performance wise speaking. And here with one click you can find all the textures that aren't a power of two in your project. The World Outliner Organizer is just one simple click. It will organize all your assets in the World Outliner. So everything is nice and tidy. And the same goes with the prefixes. So I just imported a file and with one click I created a new folder called Project and in there it created a new folder for static meshes. So here's the feature most of you are very interested in. It's the new automatic mode. And with this enabled, currently I have enabled it for prefixes. And you can see if I import a texture, it will automatically add the right prefix to it. And if I also check the clean up, it will create a new folder called textures and move it into the textures folder. So even if I try to import it in a wrong folder, you can see a new folder geometry has been created and everything has been moved into the right folder. And this even works with multiple assets at once. So you can drag 20, 20 different assets in, everything will be named and cleaned up. You can also select in the cleanup folder options that you don't want the process for static meshes. Let's remove the prefixes and now if I import a static mesh, nothing will happen. It will just stay here. 
but if I import a texture, the automatic process will trigger. So this is a nice way of giving you some control for what kind of assets you want the automatic mode to work. So now if I import a texture, you can see it's working. It's not currently adding the prefix because I turned this off, but I can turn it on again. I can also define a new target folder. So for example, my name. And now everything I import will be imported into a new folder called Andreas and then the name of the class. So this is very nice if you're working with multiple people in one project. Everyone can have is nice folder structure and everything is organized in a clean manner. And the nice thing is you can also just turn this off during your workflow without needing to restart the engine or something like this. Just disable it here and now you can import your assets the way you are used to. So thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please join my Discord server.